the committee decided, starting next month, to modestly reduce the pace at which it is increasing the size of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. The committee also clarified its guidance on interest rates, emphasizing that the current near zero range for the federal funds rate target likely will remain appropriate well past the time that the unemployment rate declines below 6.5%, especially if projected inflation continues to run below the committee's 2% longer run goal. Our modest reduction in the pace of asset purchases reflects the committee's belief that progress towards its economic objectives will be sustained. If the incoming data broadly support the committee's outlook for employment and inflation, we will likely reduce the pace of securities purchases in further measured steps at future meetings. Of course, continued progress is by no means certain. Consequently, future adjustments to the pace of asset purchases will be deliberate and dependent on incoming information. Today's policy actions reflect the committee's assessment that the economy is continuing to make progress, but that it also has much farther to travel before conditions can be judged normal. Notably, despite significant fiscal headwinds, the economy has been expanding at a moderate pace, and we expect that growth will pick up somewhat in coming quarters, helped by highly accommodative monetary policy and waning fiscal drag.